We picked up this Harbor Freight Pittsburgh pipe tap and die set. It has quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch NPT taps. So if you're tapping into different materials and you want to use um, NPT uh, threads, this is exactly what you need. There's a taper to each one of these, and you can see that there's a slight taper, so if you thread your fitting in, it'll slowly get tighter and tighter and it'll seal. Here's a three quarter inch tap with straight threads. So this is what you would use if you're just putting in a bolt, not a fitting that needs to be uh, watertight. So whenever you put this in, it has that taper. Whenever you thread your fitting in, it'll slowly get tighter and the, the plastic or what material you're using will conform to the threads that you just tapped. With this, it'll just continue threading in like a bolt and it'll never really seal unless you have lots of Teflon tape and even at that point it's gonna be really tricky. So this tapered thread actually takes the material and conforms it to the This thread. is an eighth inch NPT tap and it might not look like it's eighth inch but it's just the thread standard. You can see inscribed on it up here at the top it says eighth inch. So even if it doesn't look like it's eighth inch, this is an eighth inch NPT tap. A water barrel and we need to hook up a fitting to it and it cannot leak it, not even a little dribble because eventually the whole water barrel will be gone. So this is an example where we really need one of these tapered taps to make sure that fit is perfect. We're gonna make another rain barrel just like this. This one seals great and works perfect. We're gonna go ahead and drill our hole and we have it marked out with tape which one we need to go to, make sure we don't drill it too large. It's a little bit too thick for our step drill, which is a good sign. That means this barrel is thick. It's almost twice as thick as our old barrel. So we need a drill bit to go through the rest of the way, and this is an 11 16. Now we'll use a wrench to drive the tap, and we can go ahead and put in our threads. When you're putting in these threads, make sure you just take it slow, watch what you're doing, and make sure they don't go in crooked. Now, I don't want to go too much farther, about right there is good because I the most of the taper is on the tip of this tap and I don't want to go too far. You can always go farther, but if you cut too far up here, there's a lot less of a taper. So at this point, I'm going to stop and see how well our fit is. This is just a little bit too tight. I can't get that to thread in there. So that means we need to go a little bit deeper with you our tap. You can always remove more material, but you can't really put any more back on. Now the hole's getting a little bit larger. We'll stop about right here and double check our fit. Now this fits in here just right. It threads in, first it starts loose, and then once we get here to the end, then it snugs up on that taper, and that's what we wanna feel. And this is what we wanted it to feel like, just nice and tight, and that, that's gonna hold water. Now we'll go ahead and fill this up with rainwater and make sure everything is sealed up. We've got a perfect seal here, nothing's leaking, and this is great. We can water the garden with the rainwater that we collect. This is gonna be really convenient.